Hello everyone, welcome back to <laughs> City Skylines. It's been a while. How long exactly? Well, today, this will be going up on Wednesday, so... Friday? No, I don't even think Friday. I think like last Wednesday. It's been a while. Um, so where have I been? Where have I been? That is, uh, <laughs> lots of things. But anyways, um, I'll explain that in this episode, but... This series is coming to an end, uh, as you probably should have expected, what with park life out and stuff. Um, this will be it, this season's last episode will be Friday. Today is Wednesday. I debated whether or not to even upload an episode today, but I thought like you know I haven't been around in a while and I wanted to explain some things, so um, might as well record one now and then start off the new season fresh and uh, raring to go. So that's how that's working out. Uh, but yeah, this is uh. <laughs> series is coming to an end. We we're just going to build around here, but I've already expanded um, on the nuclear Soviet territory here. I'm going to work on the Caliphate of New Kekistan this time around, um, so that should be fun. Uh, I'm not going to read the comments, but congratulations to Gray420 for getting first. Very proud of you, uh, my son, my uh, child. I don't know. Don't. I'm not going to call my subscribers children. That's really weird. Um, but yeah, the leaderboards for that will be up on Friday, so that's fun. Anyway, so where where have I been? Where where have I where have I uh what's been cracking in my life? I said that, you know, uploads would be regular and then they weren't. Um so what happened was lots of things happened. For one, I was just really busy over the weekend. Um, because I had some friends over. So again, you know, you're supposed to not record videos in the presence of your friends because that's just rude. Um but so I did have a video but it didn't uh work out too well and it was probably not a good video anyways because it was I was trying to start a new season without finishing this one and uh wasn't gonna probably work out too well so it's definitely for the best I think um but yeah also YouTube oh YouTube the literal scumbags of this earth basically Nazis not basically Nazis they're just I don't they're they don't understand who uses YouTube they are let me explain the situation first. Um, so the situation in YouTube was they were changing the subfeed. The subfeed being uh, before it's chronological, I think either now or they're going to change it now. That like it's going to be that's not working. It's going to be uh, personalized. It's going to be personalized. So basically, it's ba your the videos. YouTube chooses what videos appear in your subfeed, which should not be how subfeeds work. Um, now then, who does screw? Now then, who does this screw over? Me. It screws over me and um, anyone who makes not necessarily bad videos, but videos that don't get a lot of watch time. So like, like artists, uh, gamer, like gaming channels. I hate the word gamers. Uh, gaming channels, educational videos. Basically, every YouTuber who isn't a uh, YouTube douchebag like Jake Paul or Rice Gum or people like that or BuzzFeed like very short videos that just get millions of views or like those really weird toy review channels just like stuff like that that's who this uh, new system is helping and so it kind of gave me this crisis which well not a crisis I was just uh it was like okay so why am I doing YouTube right if YouTube is just gonna screw me over at every possible step why am I doing this um it's a good question right and I think a lot of YouTubers are asking themselves that question now. I want to call myself a YouTuber, but I record videos on YouTube, so I guess I'm technically one. But anyways, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's certainly a question I think a lot of people are asking themselves, which is, should I even uh, do this at all? Because um, why? What? <laughs> like, because the subfeed allowed any channel to like you know get kind of recognized like you know growth is very slow especially for me but I still get some growth but with the, if they change the sub feed then how is anyone supposed to know my videos even exist um, or at least my subscribers anyways because you know it's hard enough for my videos to get found and like the notifications certainly don't work so it's really just a whole messy thing um yeah I don't know it's, it's the question of why would you be on a platform if that platform seeks to screw you over at every possible opportunity. Just to, like, you know, spread my ass cheeks and just allow them to shit right in me. Um, and uh, I, I decided that just, you know, just fuck it. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing this not to, like, make money or be popular or anything. I'm just doing it because it's fun. 
right? And that's what you should do in life, is just do things because they're fun. And that's what I'm doing. Doing it because it's fun. It's a hobby. It's a hobby. Um, not a job. I don't seek any money off of this, and I know I'm never going to make any money off of this. Nothing that will even constitute um, a career of any sort. Um, but yeah, that's just, I don't know, that's how uh, Crooked Crumbles. But yeah, so that, accepting that reality, I was just kind of like, okay, so if I'm not doing it for money or anything, I'm just doing it because I want to. So I'm just going to keep on doing this until YouTube literally rips off my kneecaps and prevents me from recording videos. Um, cause that's really the only thing I can do now. I don't really care if my channel only has like 200 subscribers, I'm doing this because it's fun. And if I, if so, if I can, if I can make like one person happy or laugh or anything like that, then I'll consider my mission a success. So, <laughs> that's my life story. Not really, don't, I don't want you to do my life story. But yeah, that's just, that, that's just what I'm doing, right? Record videos because I can. Um, and if people enjoy them, well, that's just a bonus. Yeah, so that is the YouTube situation. So screw YouTube. Um, if there's ever a video platform that's even remotely better than YouTube, I'll uh, switch over to that as quickly as possible. But there, YouTube has a monopoly, and they're probably going to always have a monopoly until, I don't know, some CEO comes in who actually knows what uh, they're doing. I like the current CEO who does not know what they're doing. Um, I don't know, that's just how, that's just how companies are, and YouTube is a stupid social media company who doesn't know what their role is in the world, which is, they're never going to make money off of YouTube, um, so just stop trying. Yeah, I mean, they're trying to be like Netflix now, right, and that's, we all know that's never going to happen. Uh, sad times. Uh, but anyways, yeah, fuck, uh, fuck YouTube. Um, I'm gonna keep, but I'm gonna keep doing this forever and ever until I die, or something else happens. Who knows? <sighs> yeah, but anyways, um, so Parklife came out. That was fun. I haven't actually. I've played with it very little. I'm trying to keep my contact with it minimal. In fact, the only contact I've had with it is probably gonna be in this series, maybe. And um, I try when I tried to record the first episode of the next series. That was probably the most minimal contact I've had with it, and it's, you know what, it's actually a very good DLC, I have to admit. It's not, like, totally garbage. It's, uh, it's actually pretty snazzy. Lots of nice features that, you know, I, I, I expected from, uh, City Skylines, and they delivered. They very well delivered, and I would highly recommend getting it if you can. Um, very good DLC, very much worth your money. If you're in animals and such, if you're not, then, I don't know. <laughs> It's just cool to see some animal, you know, big chilling around in your city, just kind of stomping about. Um, I'm sure PETA isn't happy with it, though, because animals need to be uh, not locked up in cages or something stupid like that. Um, yeah, PETA jokes, that's how far I've fallen. Mm -hmm. Alright, this can go up here. Beautiful, and this can kind of do this. I don't really know what road system I'm going for in the caliphate here. Not a whole lot of, uh, how do you say, flat land. It's very, very messy land. Really, there's no, yeah, there's no real flatness to it. Which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, it really, it really do be like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, what else is there to talk about? Let's sign something. To, uh, Memorial Day, Memorial Day was a, uh, a thing. Did everyone have a... I don't know, the thing about Memorial Day is either, you know, let's say, I, I don't think, did you even celebrate Memorial Day if you're, well, I mean, if you're an American, you celebrate it, um, or not. The, there's two people on Memorial Day, right? There's the people who are super into it, they watch the Indy 500, no, that's Sunday, no, they just, like, they, you know, put on some American outfits, they are, like, you know, they're like, yeah, America, you know, they go watch a parade, they are, they support the veterans, they do a bunch of, like, really unnecessary stuff on Memorial Day, right? And then there's other people, like, who are like me, who just do nothing at all. Um, not that I don't support their, our, our veterans, and I'm very proud of their, proud? No, I'm <laughs> proud is not the word. I'm very thankful for their service to, uh, this country. I'm um, as you should be to veterans of your country if you have a military. Some countries don't have a military, but, uh, you should still be thankful anyways to, um, yes. Anyways, but yeah, military, that's a thing. Um, Memorial Day, it's a good, it's a good holiday. Um, I planted flowers for a crazy old man. Not on Memorial Day, but the, uh, a couple days before Memorial Day. That was fun. 
plan doing anything for crazy old men is just really, you know, it's pretty crazy. Um, uh, I should really stop talking now. But yeah, uh, Memorial Day. That's a, that's a holiday. Mm -hmm. Anyways, this looks pretty much done. Well, this needs to be. This needs to be done. Could, no, don't do that in the middle of the ocean. That is bad news bears. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, I think I'm gonna do a new series. I think. Um, well, she's gonna be a first for a very long time. I forget what the last series on this channel was. The last series besides City Skylines. I think it was. It was either To the Moon or Kerbal Space Program. I honestly forget. Um, it was something. It was something I wanted to do and then just stopped doing it. It might have been like the indie game series. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I actually plan on finishing this series. I know I've said that like multiple times and it's never happened, but summer's coming around, you know, things are a changing and I should have more time to actually record videos, obviously, because it's the summer. So that should be fun. Mm -hmm. Let's get some water or agua if you're from a Spanish speaking country. I think. Do they say agua? They definitely say agua. I know my Spanish. Like, I know my... Uh... What's another? Uh, Tamil. Yeah, Tamil. Everyone knows Tamil. No, lingua... Ling, what's the... What's the... Lingua franca. I definitely pronounced that wrong. Uh, no, I suck at speaking languages. I cannot learn a language worth of ranting it is. Um, I've tried. I've definitely tried. Just cannot, cannot get it down. Um, I mean, I've, def I've definitely had some bad French teachers because um, I, I learned French in high school. I say learn, I attempt French in high school. Um, the first teacher I had was very good, and then I skipped a year. And uh, then this te my current teacher uh, is not very good, uh, as you would say in English. Mm -hmm. So that's my situation. I know, it's weird being an American, because, like, you feel bad, or I feel bad anyways, for not speaking any other languages, because there's, like, kids in other countries who speak, like, ten other languages, and they can, like, they can, ba they basically can, like, form every alphabet in the universe behind their backs or something stupid like that. Um, they can write in every, I don't know. It's, like, it's those European countries, right? Like, European and African countries are, like where you have like 50 different languages in like one village so everyone has to like learn those languages to even attempt to communicate um, which is a bit weird but you know I really do be like that sometimes and you know if that's what uh, if that's what your life is then I'm sorry English is such a good language um, I feel very blessed to learn language it, not learn language learn English because English is a very hard language to learn um, at least that's what I've heard anyways so because it's like there's no there's no uniformity to it like there's no set rules like words can just be made up out of random letters and it's just like there's no rules to it which kind of sucks but you know I really do be like that sometimes so yeah and let's not talk about language anymore because this hurts my jaw and my head where is this damn moda where is this solar power plant gonna go it's not going anywhere. I am deeply upset now. Okay, come on. You have to fit somewhere. You can fit somewhere. You can definitely fit somewhere. I mean, yeah, you have to fit somewhere, obviously, or else this, this isn't going to work. Well, what would Nukekistan have? Let's think about this, actually. What would the Caliphate of Nukekistan have? It's mountainous. There's lots of it. There's very little of it. Definitely some windmills. Definitely some big boy windmills probably I don't know we're gonna need a lot of power from these windmills probably up here because like not a lot of people are gonna be up here or living up here anyways and if they are then they can suck my uh my Kakistani ass mm -hmm. lots of windmills big boy windmills look at them they're just big chilling up here sexy boys okay are we gonna have a city? We should have a city. At least a small one, anyways. Yes, uh, I think, like, 
something like this where it's like it's part commercial part office because i don't expect i don't think there's going to be men i think the high rises are just going to be yeah commercial because we're going to have a lot of residential outside the city so just a small little commercial thing and then the rest of these can be offices uh not this this could be a commercial sector beautiful and maybe nah that's fine what about these? These can be high residential because that's where all the wealthy live, right? The wealthy elites. They want to live on the cliffs and chillax out max and outside the pool. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, I am very well versed in the English language. I know all ten numbers. Yes, I just said that sentence. Uh, okay, let's get these bad boys a crack and lack in here. We should have some generic industry. Well, yes, I think this little area over here is going to be our generic industry. What about these islands? I should probably give them to someone. Uh, probably. I think this is just going to be our generic industry here. Should I set up some parks is the question, right? That's the question of the day. Is Should I set up some parks? I don't think so because... Um, that's not what we're covering here in this uh, this series, isn't it? We're just building nations. And parks are very tedious. Very tedious. Lots to do, and I just don't want to deal with them. Although I very well easily could deal with them. Should this all just be houses? I think this should all just be houses. People can, like, go to other islands, right? I think. Totally. We'll have some commercial here and there. Just to get people moving about. This is going to be a very poor nation, though. They, it had a great beginning, um, but like you know, it's, it, hard times have definitely fallen on the Kekistani nation. You know, and that's okay. I think they'll, I think they'll definitely rise to the occasion. I think they'll rise out of their, uh, their, their. How do you say their upbringings as a nation? And I think they'll definitely. They have a lot to prove to the world, right? The Kekistanis do, because everyone hates on them. They just have a lot to prove, and I think I think they'll definitely be able to do it. I think they'll be able to rise to the occasion and prove to the world that they do deserve the right to survive in this world. Um, they're definitely a neutral power, though. They don't necessarily lie on any uh, major in any major groups, which makes them a very interesting player in the global and the global wars that are soon to follow or about to follow, anyways. Should be very interesting. Should we have a university? I don't think a university is going to be able to fit anywhere on this island. No, that's definitely not happening. Oh, well. That looks good. Lots of problems over there. We're just not going to pay attention to them. Uh, You know what? This looks pretty snazzy. I have to say. I think this looks quite swell. Because cheapo power line just kind of traversing around here so that way we can hook up these bad boys there we go beautiful you have water and power cool you don't have water though I somehow missed you you also don't have electricity which I also definitely didn't think about um you can do this like that. There we go. That works out quite nicely, I'd say. Beautiful. And you don't have power. Uh, uh blammo. That's a very short fix, but we can just delete that later. Wow, we are losing negative 55 grand per turn. That is a big oof right there. Big oof. This actually looks pretty good, you know? I think it really came out quite nicely. Yeah, there's no real room for parks in this, in this very mountainous country. You know what that means? Like, you can base... This is a very defensible country, though, right? Like, if it has anything going for it, it's that. It's like, you can defend this from basically anybody, and no one can really take Kekistan. Because all the beaches are like... There's only... This is the only harbor, right? Is right here. Like, yeah, yeah, this is kind of a harbor, but you can't really land here because it's very cliffy. You would have to go up this road and we could just blow that up. This is another story. You could probably land here and you could probably do relatively fine. Um, but that's also kind of hard to invade. Right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you could land here, I guess. And like, but yeah, because it's the mountains are right there, it's kind of hard to get over them. It's a very defensible position. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a very defensible position. We obviously don't have enough power. This kind of sucks. 
Oh, uh, I really wish we could tell how much power we needed, but that would only make sense. Woo. Bam. Okay, that four windmill should do us plenty. Right. 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 Oh, you just don't have power up. G in general, you just don't have power. Um, you're fine, right? You get. You guys are. You guys are big chilling. Big chilling on the big island. No. I need to build more windmills. Okay. <laughs> bam. 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 I mean, this is just a fact of island life, right? Is that you're just gonna have to have windmills, or else you're just not gonna survive. You know, I really do be like that sometimes. Blamo. There we go. That looks very nice, I think. Yeah, it looks very nice. It's very mountainous island, so lots of windmills. Really fits the aesthetic, I feel. We still need more, though. God damn. Um, we could put some on these islands, actually. That would kind of be cool, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking now. We're thinking. We are definitely thinking. Uh, we can delete these. There we go. Is that enough power for you boys? It is. It's probably not going to be. It's probably barely enough though. We have lots of industry over here. I feel like. Okay, well, what's the main road out of here, right? It's kind of like. Can we build a. Uh, we cannot. We could build one over here on this island, which is kind of far from the coast. I don't know if we'd be able to build a bridge there. Why did I do that? I am stupid. Um, I don't know. Actually, I think, you know what? I think we're going to end the episode there. I think that was a very productive episode. I think we did a lot. And uh, I do apologize for not uploading videos, but, you know, going through a lot. Uh, well, not going through a lot. That makes it sound like I'm... It's a lot of outside influences that are influencing me, right? So, like, nothing I necessarily have control over. I just have to think about it and decide my next course of action. But, yeah, I think we should have regular uploads from now on. I'll try to get some more series. I'll just try to make this channel just a little bit more interesting, you know? Because we're not a very interesting channel. But, you know, we try. We try her at uh, Sir Henry. Me talking in the third person, even though it's only me... Uh, my cat and uh, a random piece of lint I found on my floor that I call Jerry. Uh, very wonderful production team. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed. Um, finale will be on Friday. New series will start on Monday. That should be all fun and wonderful. Um, I do hope you enjoy. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and share, all and all, share with your friends and all that fun stuff. And I will see you all next time.